you can tell by the title, I'm getting a puppy. So let me start by saying that this is not an essential puppy haul. This is an Ebony went completely crazy and purchased everything in sight haul. Um, so I got this from Audi's. Audi was one of the stores that was open during quarantine. So I, I have the pet gate. This wasn't expensive at all. Um, I actually had this gate before um, for work. <laughs> Even though it's a pet gate, I still use it at work. Um, and the only thing is that it broke down here, but it broke down, it broke at the bottom because of human error. It wasn't that it was a defective gate. But I, I had this gate for maybe two years total. And I loved it. I mean, I got these dog treats. Um, so this right here is the pet bowl mat. Yeah, I probably can take this to work and use it at work. I love the Christmas tree store. Like, you can find almost anything in there. I think they're like a subsidiary of Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm not quite sure. But I love that store. And they were shut down, and they opened up last week, so I went and purchased some stuff. Um, so the one first thing I bought was this bed. I thought that it was really cool because it's blue jean. I am a mother of all boys, so in case they wanted a bed in their room, then, well, in case my... 13 year old is he 13 no he's 12 in case my 12 year old wanted a bed in his room then i thought that this would be really cool because it's blue jean well it's not blue jean but it's blue and has a blue jean effect plus it feels so nice like it it feels very 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 comfortable if not then this can again go to work go in my room go in the living room it can go almost anywhere the next thing i purchased from the christmas tree store was this container to hold all of his toys and belongings and stuff in our living room. However, this doesn't really go with my living room, so it may go back, but I'm not really sure. I just thought it was so cute. It looks really nice. I've seen this shirt. This was not on clearance, but the funny part is, is that Easter is gone, so it should have been on clearance, but it wasn't on clearance. Um, it's by the Animal Planet. It is a size small, and it says extra handsome with the egg and a bow tie has a bandana he has a ton of bandanas i think maybe i should leave that for a whole separate haul because it's a ton he has a ton of bandanas so yeah i'll leave his bandana haul in a whole separate haul it's yeah he's all bandanaed out so i thought that this bandana was cute again i couldn't leave it in the store it was 1.99 so i got it this is a small and this again was clearanced out and it's a dog towel has a hood on it. I had been looking at this in Wal looking at a dog towel in Walmart that was about five dollars. However, they didn't really have a color that I wanted. Again, this is not a color that I wanted, <laughs> but I hadn't picked one up and I knew that I wanted one. And this was clearance thought it was $9.99 on set on well not clearance but special markdown for $5.98. So I picked it up. I believe that this is the last thing that I got from the Christmas tree store. I think that this is the last thing I got. So this one seems pretty easy. You just um, slide the seat belt through the back. So we'll see what I like. The, again, this may or may not go back because I don't like the color. Um, I'm going to check before we use it. I'm going to check and make sure that they haven't gotten any black ones in because they just, the Christmas tree store just opened last week. So, and it was a lot of people there to get stuff. So. Um, I wasn't the only one that was waiting on the Christmas tree store to open. So in case they get some black ones in, I may go back. And there's some other things that I've seen at the Christmas tree store that I wanted to go back and get. I just couldn't bring myself. I had already spent like $161, I think, in there. Because I got pet stuff along with other household things. I told you I love the Christmas tree store. So I, I may go back and see if I can find another one. Along with going back to get some other stuff that I may... Or may not need. Yeah. Moving right along. Then five below open where they were doing like curbside pickup. You can go and tell them what you want. And they will bring it out to you. So I did it. So while I was there, I told her that I just got a puppy. And she went and got me everything puppy. And brought it back. And I purchased almost everything that she brought back. Again, I lost my mind. But, um... I bought these deodorizing pet wipes. Um, she brought me this blanket. It's not the best 
blanket. Um, it's actually really, really thin to me, but we have a blanket. It's a blanket. It's going to serve its purpose. And it had all the dogs on it, so I had to get it. I had been looking at a bunch of reviews on slow feeders. Of course, I don't know if he's going to have an issue with eating too fast, but I picked it up anyway. Then I thought this was the cutest little toy, so I had to get it. Yeah, I love avocado, <laughs> so it's avocado on toast, and kind of looked like a purse to me. Um, when she first brought it out, that's what I thought it was, but then I realized it was... Oh, and I have it upside down. <coughs> Oops. <coughs> oh, it says it has a squeaker, but I won't squeak, because that, that's just annoying. I won't do that to you. I'll spare you guys. So, yeah. Avocado and toast. And, of course, we have shirts. This is in a medium, but it didn't look extremely big, so I picked it up. Yes, dinosaurs. My godson loves dinosaurs, so I thought this would be really cool. I'm not quite sure if he's going to be afraid of the dog or whatever, but he mentioned something about a dog to me the other, about my dog the other day, so I think he, he may be cool with it. So I had to get him, I had to get the puppy this because my godson loves dinosaurs. And then I have this shirt, Wingman. And I have this shirt. It says greatest of all time. I thought this was adorable. And then these pajamas. Now, I'm not quite sure how I feel about the pajamas. And, yeah. We'll see how this works um, with the pup legs being in the pajamas. Because, I mean, don't, would they on this I, I don't i'm not quite i'm not sure how i feel about this but i have it and then i have this pet bed i don't necessarily like it the bed that my friend has i think is a much nicer bed than this but they had this bed i picked it up again i want a bed in every room for him hopefully he likes beds so i picked this one up from five below five dollars now uh, tj maxx just opened on monday it is currently thursday I wasn't, I had to work Monday, so I wasn't able to go out. Well, I tried to go out on my lunch break, but the line was just way too long. So I went after work. The line wasn't as long. However, there wasn't that many deals, but I went anyway. So I thought that this was cute. Of course, this would be going to work with us because he is the teacher's pet. Okay, so while in TJ Maxx, I realized that I did not have any training treats. So I was originally just going to use Cheerios or possibly make something myself. Um, as a training treat but with work being so busy and the world opening back up I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to if I'll have the time um, right now I'm finishing up my last semester of school so with all of that that comes into play I'm not quite sure if I'll have the time so I purchased these training treats um, they are by crazy dog uh, one and a half calories per treat this is the bacon flavor and this is the beef flavor. They both were $4.99. Uh, so again, this was clearance style. This is a size small. It looks really big. I think this was $0.20. Cent. I'm going to double check the price on this. But I like it because it has the little hole so I can put the harness inside of it. So I picked it up. This was one of the first things I purchased. The puppies were not born yet. Um, I wanted a girl. I was hoping that a girl would be born, or if not, at least one girl, multiple girls, and that I would get to choose. So I purchased this. Um, I liked it. I fell in love with it. I love brown, um, especially for my house. Not my car, because the inside of my car is black, so I wanted black. But needless to say, I <laughs> digress. I seen this. I wanted it, so I got it. I also seen these two dog bones that I fell in love with. I thought that the pattern was just so, so, so cute. So I had to get these. Oh, it has a squeaker. I didn't know that. Let's move on to the Dollar Tree. So at Dollar Tree, I picked up these wipes also. They are, um, they say gentle formula, all purpose. I, I'm not sure. Or fragrance free, made with aloe. So I picked these up again for the car or at the park or at work or whatever just to clean off his paws and maybe sanitary areas so everything at the dollar tree is a dollar so i picked up four puppy pads i don't really i didn't at the time of picking these up i didn't really pick them up for training purposes um i picked them up for either inside of the car before i decided to get a car seat um i guess they can even go inside of the car seat um in case there's 
there's any accidents. So I got them for inside of the car so my seats wouldn't be destroyed. But yep, so I picked up some puppy pads from the Dollar Tree. Now, once I decided that I was going to go with the boy dog, I decided, I, I fell in love with a brown theme. So I picked this up from the Dollar Tree along with these two. Of course, they're probably not the best made. Actually, this one's stuff is already coming out. So this may be something that he'll only use for a day or two. I quite wasn't thinking at that time about the destruction of the toys. So I have these three dollars worth. I have the poop bags um, along with the refill bags that came from the dollar store. So two dollars and you get um, 90, 90 in here for two dollars. Yeah, they're poop bags. I'm not even sure what they come with a little dog bone that you can um, connect to the leash and it's all in black. I have another toy. It doesn't squeak. It just kind of crinkles. I purchased this from the Dollar Tree. This will go on the front of the DIY project. Again, stay tuned for that. And then this is a luggage tag. I thought that this was really, really, really adorable. Um, I was originally, because he's going to work with me every day, I was originally going to buy a book bag to carry all his things in. Then I started thinking I would just buy two the same two of everything one for the home and then one for work um so i for, actually forgot i had this but this was going to go on his bag this ball i actually think this maybe this did come to, from the dollar tree but i was thinking it came from walmart um but I, yeah i think this came from the dollar tree i thought that this was really cool um yeah it's like it's all braided and cute so i got it and then this was hilarious so I had to pick this up um so they're like props that you would use um for pictures not even sure if I had that kind of dog that would sit still long enough for a prop but I had to pick it up I thought that it was adorable so I got it it was a dollar I'm sad to say I think that that's the end of my puppy haul um I don't think I purchased anything else and have it hidden anywhere like who am I hiding it from but myself I'm not really sure but yeah, this is all the stuff that I have. I do have some other stuff that's come in, <laughs> I think, in um, the next two weeks. Um, so I'll be uploading the haul with those items. But I think that this concludes my puppy haul. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.